<laughs> What's good, everybody? Episode motherfucking 10. You know what time it is. <laughs> yes, sir. We popping this champizzy. What is I've never had this. This is the Paul Mason Masan mask on. However the fuck you say it. Never heard of it. In my I'm life. not a bougie nigga by any means, so I don't know what this is. I probably don't even know how to open this properly. But yeah, man, we made it. Episode 10. I'm here with the one and only. This is double episode 10. Nah, this is episode 10 because we're getting rid of them mother- one of them motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Nah, for sure. But I'm just saying we've talked like we've oh, said we've made every the- number. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> facts every facts. episode we're like, this is episode number. And then say it. Yeah, so crazy hype. But this look. is 10 two. 10 the sequel. 10.2. 10 10. You already know, y'all. You know what it is. It's yet the fucking plagas with your one and only vanilla killer. Don't do it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you already see the smoke cloud in his hand, ready to go. Calm down. Yes, sir. Oh, who's up in here already? I know somebody up in here got some notifications on. Where y'all at? Hop in chat if you just hopped in. Yes, sir. Yo, why does why does Mike condom smell, bro? Where'd you have this shit? What are you talking about? It's smelling kind of crazy. Yeah? A little bit. All right, y'all. This shit about to make a thump sound. I'm going to... Should I have it, like, near the mic? Yeah, do it, like, in between both mics. All right, y'all. For everybody rocking with us, all two of y'all. <laughs> appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Got to start somewhere. Ah! This is just mad anticipation for nothing. Why Yo, this just go, I wish I had, like, a drum roll or something. <laughs> Hold up, it's, it, we're about to knock oh, over the going. camera. It's going. We're going to knock over the camera, bro. No way, dude. No, I'm scared, bro. I don't want to fuck that shit up. If that shit hits your phone, that shit's gone. I told you. Yeah, oh, bro. Yeah. Oh, no. I feel like this shit was probably sitting for too long. Yeah, Because I don't, normally, I don't normally have that problem. Do you have a course crew? I don't know. I hope so. Because I always boom, pop that shit off. Yeah, I was waiting for it. Hold up, give me a second. Oh, no, this shit don't smell right. That shit just been right there the whole time. I ain't touch it. <laughs> Why are you making that face? That shit has a weird smell. Oh, I mean, you, the... yeah, you could go get it, but I, I don't you're know. No, no, no. Yeah, that too. I'm gonna call this episode "Why Everything Smell Funny." I don't know what this man be doing down here, but yeah, man, episode fucking ten. You know I'm saying I'll talk some shit. We still figuring things out. Um. But, you know, I appreciate y'all for rocking. And, uh, yeah, man, we're going to get to the bottom of this, figure what's good with this. I'm thinking it's probably going to be trash. I'm not going to hold you. But for anybody out who has had this comment, I'm saying in the section, let us know what y'all think. From California. That extra dry. I'm kind of excited to try it. I don't lie. First time having soju. Not bad. Super smooth. It's that charm. Soju, baby. All right, man. Surgeon's up in here. Let's Y'all get it. Mr. Jumping Jack. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. You really don't know how to do that no. shit? Oh, my God. All right. Do you want to pay attention? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make sure. So I was you can looking. learn how to do that shit. I think yeah. I understand now. It was actually pretty easy. Yep. All right. Interesting smell. It's like a mix between champagne and asshole. Mm. Love me some asshole. <laughs> well, it is called Masson. Mass. Mason. Masson. So I got some ice, some soju. Oh. What you about to do? Wait, you got to try it first. Make sure it's not oh, actually okay, ass. Okay. What if it's busted, bro? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. If it's bad, it's becoming Paul's ass. That's All right. about it. All right. I need a... I need Yo, a if you got some... What the fuck is in this? Is there a cork in it? Probably a little bit. Can you pass me a cup? No, God! No! Yo, let me see the... <laughs> let me see the no, um, God, marker. No, oh, no, you no. put it in the stand? No! I got you, I got you. No! 
This man's gonna write Vanilla Killer yeah, on that. the fucking cup. <laughs> you fucking, you got it, bud. Vanilla Killer, and I'm probably not gonna spell it right. That's even better. More trademarkable. Facts. Vanilla Killer. Cloud blood, I say. Yeah, just going with the whole fucking <laughs> intro. Do a whole fucking thing like wrapping around. <laughs> All right, let me put Paul's ass in the glass. That sounds crazy. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, definitely got some. All right, bro. Damn, though, what the fuck? I mean, we eat ass beans. It can't be too bad. You ready? Come on, bro. You gonna inspect this shit? This shit don't ever be that colored, bro. Right? That shit is kind of crazy. All right, bro. To ten, dog. To ten. Vanilla killer. Nasty ass fucking shit. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yo, that shit is disgusting. What bro. the fuck? That was horrible. Who gave you that? Who tried to play My you? My grandfather, dog. That shit is horrible. That shit is nasty. This episode brought to you by Paul's ass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yo. That said, thank y'all for pulling up. We gonna start with fucking episode ten, bro. That was disgusting. Hopefully, you had no, some better. God! Yeah, no, that was gross. Nah, yo. Hopefully, y'all had some better champagne to pop, cause, bro. God damn, we're not sponsoring this. At all, ever in life, we're not endorsing that shit. No. Uh, never. Wait till episode fifty. We'll we'll come through with some Ooh, crazy. That's shit. just gross, bro. Yeah, dude. I that didn't even was... want to swallow it. I feel like it would have made my stomach weird. Bro, that, that shit was dead ass nasty. All right, so I'm gonna wash it down with some fucking anything else. Yeah, literally. Holy shit, that was gross. Mm -hmm. And you spit in that, so that's double gross. Yeah. I just really couldn't get it down, dude. Like, bro, that shit was. There was no passing my fucking. What's that little hangy shit? Fucking uvula. uvula? Yeah, yeah no. I wasn't getting past that. So before we talk about what everybody wants us to talk about, we gotta talk about something boring. You know how podcasts do. You gotta talk about something boring first, and then you gotta like dangle the carrot, and then get into the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so. So what's nah? It's not boring. Shit, it's not boring. But we're just we going ain't boring out here. Fuck y'all. I mean, some people would uh, disagree, but fuck them. Yeah, <laughs> I know some people. Yeah, but yeah, bro. So who's talking, man? Um, I'm thinking, yo, like, what was the topic again? <laughs> I'm acting like I remember this shit for the whole episode topic. Yeah, we was talking about some shit. Fucking making it, dude. What the fuck is making it, yo? I don't know. What the fuck is this, bro? You want to get into that? Yeah, let's get into that first. All right. <laughs> I just look at right. him so like, ladies and gentlemen, so at least somebody fucking noticed. I did a whole show yesterday at a festival and nobody noticed. <laughs> Bro, I was on stage. Nobody said shit. I know what that thing is. Y'all see that shit? They should be able to see that. Yeah, they see it. Boom, yeah, right there. Dog. Right next to your name. Perfect little screenshot. Yeah, dog. So I basically I stole these shits because they were fly. I don't pay for shit. <laughs> Is that no bro? Oh. I paid for this shit. And somehow, some way, somehow they forgot to take the shit off. Mm. And I went all stole day it. yesterday. Uh, excuse me. All day yesterday. Like I said, I performed at a festival. Hella people. I mean, pfft. It wasn't until like 10, 10 30 at night. I was playing Smash Bros with the homie. And I felt this shit on my leg. I was like, bro, stop. <laughs> stop. I do not have this shit on my leg right now. This shit didn't beep on the way out. That's crazy. It didn't nothing, bro. Like That just shows you that there are mad stores where those things are bullshit, where they don't work. That's so annoying. That's so annoying because now this shit is stuck. And yeah, I can't uh, get. They, I've gotten them off before. How? By, it's, it, it's, the clothes aren't going to be exactly the same anymore. 
Like I I'm used have to have bring this the, shit back. Um, yeah. I, I got this shit in the inside. It's all chewed up because I was trying to like I was sticking my key in it and trying to like flick it out and bend it. Oh, okay, yeah. So you're already it's going through. All fucked up. I don't even know if they're gonna be able to take it off. By the way, it is now. They'll be able to take it off still. It's just one magnet. I was thinking like just taking a fucking hammer to it. That's what I did. I took a hammer to the shit and I beat the fuck out of it, but that ends up <laughs> destroying the fabric around it. <laughs> like, fuck. So it ended up being just a hole that I could have pulled it through at the end anyway. That's so annoying, bro. But yeah, bro, that's what it is, man. That's what I got going on. Fucking stealing shorts. <laughs> gotta make it. Yeah, More bro. Stealing shorts. <laughs> Until I make it. Yeah, facts. Then I'll be able to afford some shit. Levi's is expensive, bro. Yeah. So I ain't paying for that shit. <laughs> yeah, nah, but um, what is making it, man? What the fuck is making it? I don't think. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it really has, or maybe there's a general meaning. But if you ask twenty people what making it is, I feel like they'll all have a different uh, a different answer because I feel like making it is based on. Like, if you say you made it, then you've achieved a certain goal that you had set for yourself at some point, right? And, like, now you're at that level that you wanted to be at. Like, oh, I made it finally. But, like, that level could be different for other people. Does that exist? Because once you get there, isn't it human nature to want to, like, raise the bar Mm -hmm. of your goals and continue to expand and grow? And once you get there, even if it's not that, we tend to be people like just creatures that are never satisfied so you'll get somewhere and then you're just gonna want more and you're just gonna want more and want more and more whether it be financial whether it be uh materialistically whatever it may be fame accolades impact people always gonna want more and more because shit just becomes so normal when shit becomes normal to you it's like you don't appreciate anymore so you just have a new goal yeah you said there's just always another level that you want to get to like you're not like you could you could be grinding too for like that one thing like that one level that you wanted to get at and then you get there and it's like nah, none of that shit matters now like i'm already here like what's on to the next one type shit right but as far as making it i don't know what i myself would really classify as making it really yeah you if you don't know what making it is to you that's kind of a problem you should know where you're trying to go like where you're trying to get to it's like how do you know what to work towards oh no i understand what you're saying i know what like some of my goals are but as far as making it i don't see that as, that's what i'm thinking like when i think make it i'm like you're done like you don't have to keep going you know ah, what i mean like okay. that's end game like you made it but like like if we're going somewhere and we need to make it there right like we're going to new york as soon as we make it to new york we're in new york right okay like that's the end of the trip interesting so I'm thinking make it is end game. Like you don't have to really do much after that like cuz you've already done enough to get there. I know the things that I want to be doing this year, next year, within the next 5 years, 10 years. Like I know those type of things. Okay. But I don't classify those as making it. It's probably all groundwork to get there, but I don't think that even if I become super if this podcast becomes super successful, I still don't think that's like making it. I think that's no. like I don't know. I I don't really think making it is like that big of a thing. Like I've even said it like in some songs before. Like oh, we gonna make it, but like I don't know. I don't really have something rappers say. Nah, but like thinking about that, like as I'm writing the shit or listening to it, it's like making it is just like to that point where you could just finally have nothing pressing on your mind anymore. You know what I mean? Like you're just at that like like you're on vacation, but like it's you're done you made it you're at that spot and you don't have to think about any more bullshit anymore there's no more like stress type shit okay and you could just do things because you want to do things whether or not they monetarily reward you no i get what you're saying but okay so if somebody well i mean every deal is different i'm saying like once you get to that level where you got the fan base you could tour wherever you're good financially like technically didn't you didn't make it because i mean you can keep going but you don't need to necessarily i guess i mean if you want to just stop like that well i mean all right back into the record has drake made it 
Yeah, I think Drake could stop and be fine. Yeah. I don't he, even think, he didn't even need to drop his shit. To do <laughs> I was going to say he should have. Because I feel like, I mean, we're going to leave that until when we get there. Yeah, y'all can wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, to me making it, I guess that's a. it makes a lot of sense what you're saying. It's just like more so a destination. For me making it, I always thought about it as like you finally get to that point where I mean, I guess it's the same as what you're saying, but like you can still have goals to continue, I guess, expanding and growing and evolving. But once you get to that point where it's like, as long as you're not an idiot with your money, like never broke again type shit, like Mm -hmm. your money's coming in, you got your fan base. If you want to route a tour, world tour or whatever it is you want to do nationally, you could do that. Just like living your dream finally. Mm Mm-hmm. I guess that's what I want to say. So living your dream yeah. is making it. Doesn't mean that you necessarily have to stop. Yeah, no, I don't there think there's any stopping to it. I just think there <clears throat> that stress part of it is gone. Where it's like, damn, I really hope that this shit does good. Right. You know what I mean? Like, no, nah, if it's good and you fuck with it, then that should be like whatever it is too, outside of music. Like, but since that's where we're at, um, I think that if you're working on something, you shouldn't have that stress of like, damn, I hope that people like fuck with it enough. Like, I hope that this reaches enough people. I'd like to get to a point where I've done that enough and like, I don't have to worry about that shit. Like, if I want to put out something that I've never put out before, then I could just do that. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck the reception. Like, I'd rather just be able to have that out there. Hell yeah. I feel like that would be that making it level for me is where it's like, I could do anything now at this point and it's not going to affect me negatively. You can't do anything in today's culture, bro. Everything is cancel culture. No, I hear that, but I mean, like, I mean, negatively to the point where, like, all right, I guess, yeah, I'd be fucking fully canceled. But at that point, though, even all right, so then to the to take it further, then I would say it would be that if I were to get canceled, I'm still good. What'd you drink? You're not drinking Paul's ass. No, bro. This shit just hit me uh, strongly. That shit is fire. I, yeah, or actually, good. which one is that? That's a Terramana. Yeah, no, no. There's like different versions of it. There's though. Casamigos and there's a Terramana, bro. That shit punches. There's two of these though, right? Like there's, yeah, this there's is not the light, clear one. Yeah. yeah. Are you like the light one? I've only had the light one. Ooh, whoa, whoa. This shit gave me heartburn yesterday. <laughs> not gonna lie. I love how every time you come, it's like half or less of the bottle. So I know you've been fucking it up before that. <laughs> like yeah. You've been putting work in and you just came here to finish it off. Last over. night, bro, this and Smash Bros and Mario Party and Mario Kart. Yeah, that sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> that sounds like the best time yeah, you right could possibly you. have. Yep. Pizza, homies. Even better. Yeah, that was a good time. Where'd you get the pizza from? Uh, we're in Terryville, so I don't even know the spot. He's just in the local spot. Oh, okay. I was going to say, we could get back into our food reviews. Ooh, might have to low-key. Might have to low-key. Fucking, um, what were we saying? Shit. All the negativity, which kind of um segues into the dark side of making it, man. There's some dark shit that comes to making it sometimes. I feel like if if you got dark shit going on after you make it, that was kind of your fault on your way to making it on the way up yeah you did some Mm, cutting corners and talk about it you ain't you ain't make it the right way you know what i mean like like if you get up there and like like all right so what would what would you say some of like the dark things would be like what dark things all right well there's levels to this shit Mm. right dark shit i would consider everything from just selling your integrity and doing some shit that is so against what you stand for that makes you uncomfortable or low key makes you feel or high key makes you feel excuse me violated you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. um shit that is like really compromising your soul and your spirit your essence who you are you got shit like little Nas right now bro that shit is dark as fuck that shit is dark as fuck not only because of the literal shit that he's done with like all the demonic satanic shit, which you could say, oh, he's just trolling, he's just trolling the Christians and all that, and that's 
great and all, you know what I mean, if you don't believe in that shit, but that is that real energy that you're fucking with. You know what I mean, the fact that you, you shouldn't be comfortable. You should not be comfortable fucking with all that shit. That's me personally. I'm not a Christian. I'm not, you know, I believe in a higher power and I believe in the universe, but I just fucking, when it comes to like Satan and demons and shit like that and negative spirits and like, yo, just stay away from that shit, bro. Mm. Like, this shit is not a joke. Um, I think it's more of like a publicity type thing. Like, just attention yeah, grabber. But I think right that now. everything has, everything has repercussions, bro. Mm. Um, you know, you got people who are, I mean, we could go down the rabbit hole, but like the whole people who actually are very satanic in the industry, you got the whole, like, not just the Me Too movement with women, but with men and children and just all types of shit. People being abused and violated to move up the ranks and like, this shit is real. I don't like, I don't know people want to say it's conspiracy theory, but is everybody lying? I don't yeah, no, there's point, no way like, everybody just has the same come story. Come on, bro. Too many people have come out and come forward. And, and shit is it's crazy, man. It's usually the creeps that get in the position of power. Like, you know. You because that's expect, who's already up there. Yeah, that too. But it's like, I mean, I talked about it before on this podcast, but I knew somebody who used to do like a, um, a catch, uh, to catch the predator series. Mm-hmm. Bro, and the people mm-hmm. that he caught. It makes sense. You don't think about it, but it's the people who are around kids. I knew one of the ones that he caught. I did too. I went to school with one. Yeah. So it's school bus drivers. It's preschool teachers. You know what I mean? It's it's people who are around your kids. Think about it. If that's what you were into, you're probably going to do that. The same way, you know, if you're a single guy, you're probably going to go out clubbing in the bars every weekend because you want to get around what you you're like. in that market. You're, yeah, you and browsing that's, looking that's around what they fucking do it's crazy you know what i mean so yeah bro it's scary it's really scary um but the dark side's making it too is like the side of like uh people who do this too young and never have a childhood mm. and they end up becoming depressed and addicted to drugs because they're just worked 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 like a fucking slave mm-hmm or you know you got like britney spears bugging the fuck out and people trying to manage you like you're a product because essentially you're a business you know what i mean you're not treated like a human being at the end of the day no matter what you're a fucking human being there's also the the fan side of it where people don't treat you like a human being they treat you like an object and you know when it's cool to support it's cool to support when it's cool to kick you when you're down it's cool to kick you when you're down um people are just are very fickle and they don't respect your privacy mm. you know you got the paparazzi thing it's just so crazy i could not imagine that like i'd be punching people left and right yeah like i i'm not the one for that shit bro like and I'm that's they want big. that shit too like though some people pay for that shit they'll, they'll try to get you to hit them because they oh, know that's oh, a bag for them and yeah. like they they know their position that's the crazy thing but that shouldn't even be legal bro yeah like that you shouldn't shit. be able to put a camera in my face to the point of making me want to punch you and then capitalize on me punching you. Yeah, and that's just on a case by case basis. That's not even the fact that more famous you are, it could be a whole crowd or mob of them motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Like, and then it's like they want to dig right into your personal life. Like, the, like there's just no respect for your privacy or your personal life, or none of that. Like that's gone. That's over. And I'm somebody that's very 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 important too Mm. is my privacy my family my shit is my shit stay out if i want to share it with you i will if not respect it because the same way i want mine's respected you want yours respected let's keep the respect first if i if i work my ass off to entertain you and give you the best of me and just give you everything leave my heart on the stage leave the soul on the stage and the projects spend countless nights in the studio go on these stupid ass press runs i probably don't want to go on Mm -hmm. you know there's so much shit as a musician when it's a career that you're not going to want to do you want to do the creative aspect because that's the fun part but then you got like i said 
interviews, the same questions being asked all over again. People asking you about shit you may not want to talk about again, invading your privacy, the paparazzi, the constant attention, people pulling up to your crib and shit, like the constant criticisms, so much shit that they have to deal with. Mm Mm-hmm managing your money making sure your team's not trying to fuck you over (laughs) just constant bullshit bro like come on bro there's it's a lot it's heavy it's a lot that comes with that shit it's not just what you see in the music videos bitches shaking their asses and (laughs) no that's only at that one moment right there that's it like outside of that music video yeah everyone is paid everything is rented cars are probably rented you know after that video is uh, done, least. you're right back into some bullshit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then, God forbid you make it off some persona or image that's not really you. You gotta either keep up that persona, or you know you're a fraud. You're this. You're that. It's crazy, bro. I couldn't imagine coming up and being known as one thing and having to keep that up and keep that up and keep that up like nah i couldn't when you know that wasn't you to begin with like yeah no that's insane that's just that's scary that's a scary thought because like that could really like you do one thing one time like oh let me just like see how this goes and then like it it sticks and it's like fuck like (laughs) i don't know doing it now you know you're like somebody else and that's exhausting to keep up Mm -hmm. you know what i mean um and people wonder why the fuck celebrities go crazy and instead right. of wondering and asking and trying to you know like if it was some a friend of yours or family you probably pull them aside and be like yo is everything good like what's up you're kind of wilding out right now like is everything good talk to me what's up yeah instead it's like the fuck fucking freak <laughs> fucking weirdo Everybody, That's what happens when they get money. They go crazy. Right. Like, and then they right. assume automatically you're a drug addict or mm-hmm. you got this and that going on. And, oh, and you it's, must have this. Yeah, yeah. And people make assumptions. And you know what the worst thing is? People find out they're wrong and don't apologize, and the stigma doesn't go away. Like if a dude gets accused of rape and they find out that he never did it, doesn't matter he's always going to be looked at mm-hmm. it's always going to have his career is always going to have suffered that blow mm-hmm. oh yeah 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 never if you're talking recover. about just like pr types yeah nah you're fucked like you never recover from there's that. no amount of you could have every single person come forward and be like no i lied i'm sorry or i was wrong i was wrong it's not no gonna press. matter no press. it's not gonna matter not only is it not covered as much but it's like people literally just don't care yeah it's like they just like, like nah, that. that negative shit was that shit yeah like, that was that shit like <laughs> people feed off that negativity bro that shit is really crazy so that's definitely the dark side i don't know if you got anything else you want to add to that but that's me on my end what i pick up is like the things that kind of make me want to be if anything just a low-key artist with a cult following or something i don't want fame or i would rather crazy. have something like that too. yeah because, like, those are the type of people that, like, I, I wouldn't... So there's artists that have, like, cult followings and stuff that I fuck with, but I don't think I'm, like, a part of that, like, that group that fucks with them to that point. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like there's that cult following, and then there's, like, there's a level behind that that I think I'm in for a lot of that shit. I don't think I'm, like, all up on their dick the whole time. <laughs> but, like, I know, like, who those artists are, and there's, like, one of them that I fuck with a lot. And, like, I think that... um that's something that I would rather do too, because like I know that the person that I'm thinking of, like anytime he drops anything, it's dope. Like I'm hype. I listen to it a lot. Like I'll start going through the whole discography and shit. I'll be listening to it, but like I'm not. I I like that it's not something that he's like constantly in the media all the time doing shit and like promoting releases and all that shit. Like after that, it's just like no, nah, he's out the way and now I'm like, yeah. And just let his music keep doing his things for him. Like, I like that type of shit. I'd like to be able to do something like yeah, that, too. Yeah, just let the music talk, bro. There's no need for that all that extra shit. Like, I'm a musician. I'm not an actor. I'm not a... I mean, I guess, yeah, I'm an entertainer, but... It's not in the same sense that we're like... I, I every time I say. hop in on... Like, every day I gotta wake up and give you something on IG to talk about. Or I gotta struggle to stay relevant. Like, bro... 
Nah. Regardless of what, man, like, look at all the shit Kanye was doing. And the shit is already dying down. Nobody's talking about Donda anymore. Nah, because... It's like the lead up to it is the most hype yeah. that is going to be around it. Then the actual music drops and it's like, okay, it was cool. Yeah. So in like 2015, you had Drake put out... Um, if if you're reading this, it's too late. You had Beyonce drop her album. There was a couple other people that I know were just dropping randomly. Like with no... And I was thinking about this With the other no day. no rollout? Yeah, nothing at all. Just like, oh, it's midnight. Guess what I just did type of shit. That's cool. And then the album like does pretty fucking good. Yeah. And so like other people started hopping on. And then it was kind of like, all right. like no, Everybody do can't do that. Yeah. So now the w- things that I was thinking about the other day is like you had that in like 2015. So like five, six years ago, it was like that whole time that that was going on. And now we have Donda was announced July 2020, right? Yep. And then it dropped August 2021. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Certified Lover Boy was announced October 2020 and then was finally dropped September. Or was it? Yeah, it was technically September, right? That shit took it too long. Bro. But basically what I'm saying, though, is I feel like that might be the new wave or maybe we're out of it. And maybe that was just like only those two, but they were just two huge ones. But like... The way that people are releasing music now, like five years ago, it was like, let's just fucking drop it. And now it's like, let's tease it and hype this the fuck up. And then it know. just doesn't live up to expectations. I don't know, because Cole just kind of came out of nowhere with off season. But he had a slight rollout. He had like a month or not even a month, like a two or three week rollout before it. Yeah. Well, he dropped like a video or two. He did a couple freestyles on radio stations. True, true. He, uh, he was posting pictures and stuff of him. Not like even a rollout, though. It's not a rollout, but it's more of an announcement than yeah, Midnight's here. Cole here's is, my album. For Cole is. Yeah. Because he don't pop out for shit. Yeah. So and he was. he pops out and he does a freestyle, you already know. It's like, oh, this motherfucker got out. He was, he was on his own press run. It was the two-week run, and he fucking killed that shit. Album came out. Album was fired. I have no problems with it. Did you listen to that yet? Not all of it, but the shit that I heard, he was spitting, bro. Yeah. He did his thing. He yeah. came on. Even on his freestyles that led up to before off. it dropped, he was fucking killing it. The LA Leakers freestyle, he that shit off. was nuts. He came off. Which is what I fucking respect. Like, yo, rap. Just mm-hmm. rap, mm-hmm. bro. Or if you're not somebody with bars, yo, your sound's got to be dope, man. Yeah, yeah. Just be dope, man. Is that so much to ask for? So the other thing I was... have to do all that extra shit, man. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Just be dope. Put and don't all have your energy. seven of the same song. Put all your energy... I'm saying, put all your energy into the music. Fuck that hype shit, bro. Because I guarantee you, you come out with a project and it's all bangers, bangers, bangers. People are going to talk about it. And it's going to last, bro. People are going to be spinning your shit. It's going to make memes. It's going to make parties. It's going to make mm-hmm. events. You, people are going to watch you for festivals. Like, your shit will live on. But yeah. all that hype shit, bro, for what? Yeah, no, nah, that's... So I was thinking, like, the reason I started thinking about that shit and, like, the comparison between then and now as far as rollouts went Sad. is... um. So Kendrick announced, like, he's doing something, right? Like, he posted yeah. up that thing or whatever. I've fucking been announcing. I'm not with TD anymore. This is going to be my last TDE project. So I was thinking, like, damn, like, shit. yeah. So I started thinking, are we not going to have a Kendrick project for another year? Facts. But that, and that's what, like, sparked that whole thing in my head. But I just saw this morning that he, uh, he sent all the songs in for, like, certification. So that shit should probably be dropping within the next week or two. Trash. There was, a uh, what was it? It was like eight or nine songs, I think. That I it's saw. Only eight or nine. Uh, that songs? I saw. That I saw. Um, Kendrick, stop playing, bro. It was all submissions, though, like to have it put out. So, like, so they were all probably had samples. Probably, yeah. Oh, so, so like, to get those I know cleared. Drake and Kanye when they just put their shit out, they just finished it and then put it out. Like before Drake released his shit, he was still recording it. Like he was recording it and then midnight hit and he needed two more hours and then it dropped at two in the morning and then it came out. So like. I know that's how they were doing it, but Kendrick's already got his music in. Like, he's ready. Like, his shit's... Yeah, because you already know. I expect that from Kendrick. Yeah. No, me too. But so I was just... I'm happy, though, seeing that that we're not probably going to have to wait a year for Kendrick's album. 
We'll see. But that's that's going to be a crazy year in music overall, though. Twenty twenty one is going to be nuts at the end because is it? If you all right, historically, yeah, it, it is because in what sense you got J Cole dropped his album, you got Donda came out, CLB came out, and then if Kendrick drops his shit, that's like four of people's top fives. But if the albums don't live, no, I up know that. To- yeah. I'm just saying, though, like, in general, these releases, regardless of how they do right now, are still going to be, like, credited as being, like, huge releases with the most hype because it's just, it's it's all the hype. It's everything before that. It's everything before it came out. It's the money that they're making is because of the hype that was built up. Like, you know what I mean? It's yeah. I, I don't think they have to do as great for them to be considered a a good release as much as they used to. I think now, if you have that kind of hype built up, it's going to be like, oh, yeah, Donda. Donda came out. Yeah, you remember you were talking about Donda. You yeah, know all the stuff he did leading up to Donda. That's and smoking then it came mirrors. out, and he doesn't care anymore. That's smoking mirrors. Yeah. I haven't seen shit from Kanye since it came out. No. He's gone. He's that's gone. what I mean. So, like, it's that no one cares anymore, but it's out. Like, all that shit happened. All this stuff happened. I don't think the album release matters anymore, but, like, if you look back on 2021, everyone's going to be like, yeah, first you had Cole dropped his shit, and then Ye did all this shit, and then he dropped, and then Drake did all this shit, and then he dropped, and then but did all he, this was. Well, I guess what, he Drake? did some shit. I was going to say, but then did he really do that much shit? But I guess you can't argue Kanye with the whole stadium thing and the mask thing. Like, Drake had a lot, but I it was just, more at the end of last year than it was this year. This year, he had, like, COVID and, like, popped something out of place or some shit. So he was he had to get, like, surgery. He was out of fucking commission. But oh, no. fucking at, towards the end of last year, he had, like, a Nike collaboration go out. That was pretty cool. And, like, he was doing, he was doing some shit. I don't know. I'm not tapped in with Drake, so I missed that. But I don't know. I guess since it's hard for me to agree because I see past the smoking mirrors. Mm. Not saying that you don't, but I just really I see both sides, definitely. Yeah, you see the both sides. I didn't I was just in my own perspective. You know? So to me that's yeah. just like but did it really hit? Like when I look at a historic year, it's like, yeah, all them albums were fucking incredible. Mm, mm. Like twenty twelve. No, I hear that. <laughs> yeah. Twenty sixteen. Yes, yes. Nineteen, bro. Even nineteen. Holy fuck. Oh eight. Oh eight was disgusting. So, like, I hear what you're saying with that type of stuff. I just mean, like, 2021 as far as the way that the average consumer of music, not the musicians and shit, is going to go is this was huge because four of your top five dropped an album. I guess. Yeah. And, like, when's Kendrick's last album? 2015? So he drops. I'm pretty sure it was 16. Damn. Damn was definitely 16. Damn was 16. Yeah, you're right. So, like, that's what I mean, though. Like, the... The elites in fucking rap that all have done something this mainstream year. Mainstream so elites. I, let's let's get that clear. Yeah, yeah. Mainstream elites. Yeah. I'm sounding like a dick rider this whole podcast. Not at all. Not at all. Who said that? No, I'm just thinking oh, about it now. I thought you said somebody said that. No, I'm just thinking about the shit that I just said, and it sounds like I'm just really sucking these dudes nuts off. Nah, like, dude, nah. You're you're sharing. Like the perspective of most people, I don't think that's your perspective. That's not mine, because I couldn't care less about the shit that's come out so far. Except not not Cole's. Cole's album is fire. I already talked about it before. Yeah, Engineering alone did it for me. She was hard. When you listen to it, what did you listen to it on? In the car, headphones. Car and uh, like a Bluetooth speaker. So um, uh, my homie's brother was playing some some of the tracks yesterday while we were playing Smash Brothers. Word. And I was like, oh, okay, this motherfucker's really spit. Like he's mm. mad, bro. Like, yeah, he, he's like, oh, he really nah, you don't hear to these talk. fucking bars now. Like, oh shit. I was like, yeah, that's yeah. cool, baby. Like, I feel like there's a lot of people that are in that respect, spot now too. Yeah, some where, respect on my yeah, name. Exactly, shit. exactly. Where it's like, all right, you fuck the humble shit, like. Y'all been y'all been talking crazy. Like I've been gone a little bit. I'm back now, type shit. Like, did you hear Belly's new project yet? No, bro. bro I know that shit's about to be fire. There's too much weekend on it, in my opinion. Okay. Otherwise, it's just hard. Word. Yo, Belly's crazy. Belly, I love his sound. he was on the same type Man, of shit too, rap. though. He, he was like, rap, he bro. was on some. Yo, y'all been fucking like fuck the humble shit. I'm out here. Belly can go in. I would. Yeah, facts. Bro. Facts. He's nice with the pen. He's nice. He's nice. I'm happy I ended up finding him when I did. Yeah, facts. 
I would be mad if I just found him right now. Or not even actually. I might be happy if I just found out about him Either, now. Because yeah, then I could nah. go deep into his shit and just start fucking with all of it. But I found him with mumble rap. I found, uh, Me too. Me That's too. the one with the yeah. flames all over the shit, yep. right? And then mumble he had rap. Immigrant after that. And now he just dropped this one. Yeah, but right. then he's nice. But even after uh, mumble rap came out, uh, as soon as I heard the song mumble rap, I was like, "Oh, this is actually hard because like the beat's dope, but like he's rapping. He's not on some like little fucking hype shit." Exactly. And I was like, "Yeah, exactly. that's this is hard." So yeah, I listened to the album, shit, and then I went to his previous three, and all of them were sick, dude. Like all his shit. So yeah, I would nah, still be sick. happy right now, actually, if I just heard his new album. I would have five other ones to enjoy nice with it bro definitely <sighs> i might as well just get right into it man what are we getting into ass bean nah <laughs> might as fucking well be some ass beans that shit was not it bro <sighs> yeah, that shit was just not it look i have no problem giving it to drake when he has one at all no he had problem, one though. he didn't have 21 he had one i guess i was just talking about <laughs> no nah, yeah, no i'm just even, saying even though. even a track and i didn't listen to the whole thing i couldn't <laughs> I there's tried. like a it's very hard yeah. for me to get through a drake album especially 22 songs like, without skipping i can't do it uh i really tried bro i was like i really tried so i had a i had a 58 minute ride and it was 2 30 so I asked the person, I was like, yo, Drake shit just dropped. Like, you want to play that? And they're like, yeah. I was like, all right, bet. So I started playing it. And we got through 58 minutes of it. The album's an hour and a half. We got through 58 minutes. God of it. damn, Drakey. So, and I didn't skip anything either because I really wanted to just like listen and see if there's like anything to it. And like, I got up to a certain point. I forget where I was in it. And I was like, I like three of these. But it was definitely more than three quarters of the way so it's 21 songs yeah, i was definitely good, over dude. 14 and i was like i like three of these it's just very lackluster like it left you wanting more like come on bro like it's just oh, it's, it's not he seems so stagnant so with his shit like when i all right so i fuck with artists i feel like he peaked bro that's kind of how it felt it's like all right you already peaked i think he peaked and he hasn't gone down but he's just plateaued like he hasn't stopped. No, that was not. You think up he's gone up and down? Uh, never mind, never mind, That's never mind. Because that 2015 is my shit. Come on, bro. I think. All right. So it. he was like, he was like this, and then he kind of like came down a little bit, and now he's just been. Yeah, kind of coasting. Yeah. No, you're right. You're a, you're a thousand percent right. Because the production on, if you're reading this, is too late. Was fucking nuts. And then he was spashing on all of them. So That's I fuck with that I'm project. Saying. Like this I'll one, it was one like, him, but like this one was not. Yeah, no, that's the only one I'll give to him. This is his what sixth one. I'd still only give him that one. Mm. Eh, eh. I just <laughs> feel like all of this music could have released any time, dude. Like, yeah, bro. Like, no if you played that, that shit for me, if I never heard of Drake before, right? right? And you played me, nothing was the same up to now. Not telling me what album they're on, not in any particular order, and asked me to like to try to put together like Word. what project these were all part of. I wouldn't be able to fucking do it. I wouldn't be able to tell you like, oh, he was in like this run. He did this, this, like you know what I mean? I could, I could do that with Kendrick. I could hear his shit, and it sounds yeah, like every album's completely different. Yeah, bro. and you could like you hear a couple songs, and you're like, oh yeah, these are on the same project. Yeah. With Drake, I can't do that shit. I would probably take all his like singing shit and put that on one project and facts. then put his rapping shit on one project. That's facts. He's just all over the place on everything and he doesn't seem to get better. I don't see that he's grown as an artist, if that makes sense. Like when I look at people who make music and we're, and if I follow them from the beginning or if I look back at where they started and where they're at now, I like to see the growth and be like, damn, he really changed. Like, mm. like you look at Mac Miller when he started and what he was doing. He was just a high school rapper doing shit. Yeah. And by the time he dropped Swimming, he was playing every instrument. He had orchestras coming in. He was really fucking talking about real shit, singing a little bit. Yeah. Like, that's some growth yeah. from being just a kid in high school to having all this shit going on. If I look at Drake, he came out with ransom with lil wayne on a feature and he's been rapping since he hasn't done shit else i don't look at drake as a musician that's which is fine like, yeah no that's cool that's fine but it's like oh, he's I a pop star it, he's bro. not a rapper like, it just felt like it wasn't hitting like it needed something more like an extra punch 
especially with all the hype behind it and yeah, I don't know, bro. It was nothing that really stuck out to me. Wayne's genuinely. verse was cool. I don't know if you heard that one. On which track? Um, you only live twice. It was with Rick Ross. He opened it up, and then Drake came, and then Wayne came. Nope, I didn't hear that one. It's track like seventeen. Definitely didn't hear that one. Yeah. And then there's why a would track you save that track for seventeen? Because he had other features throughout it. He had Lil Dirk on something. He had Lil okay. Baby on something. I didn't like that Lil Baby joint. Yeah, twenty one. That's still the lesbian on shit. Yeah, yeah. Where where Lil Dirk got on there and just promoted his girl's makeup brand the entire time. He didn't even spit. He just talked about her fucking brand. It's like, yeah, Drake gets billions of streams. Might as well promote my girl's shit. Like, rapping about it. Like, literally saying that shit. I mean, That's just it. funny. That is funny. But, like, what are y'all doing, guys, man? No. I like the one with Travis Scott. Yeah. I just fuck with Travis. Can you imagine if Drake and Travis fucked the track up? Like, and not in a good way. That'd be sad. Yeah, no, that'd be terrible. I was waiting for Travis, too, because, like, so when I was playing it the first time, I was looking at it and, it like, said, featuring Travis Scott, and I'm like, oh, shit. And then Drake spits, like, two verses, and then there's still no Travis. I feel like he didn't try to me. Drake? Yeah. No, no, I feel there like is he no was trying. Just, he didn't really try that much. The only time, the I could tell where he tried, and it's the shit that was done right before the album dropped. Like, on the track where he's dissing Kanye the whole time, you could hear, like, he just wrote that shit. Like, talk about, give that address to your driver. Like, Kanye just posted your address two weeks ago. Where's the rest of the effort on any of these other songs? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Man has some pretty good diss tracks, bro. Yeah, like definitely, definitely. To, I don't know who writes them. Maybe I don't he know. does. Maybe I don't know. he doesn't. But the diss tracks... Yes, sir. But I was going down, uh, scrolling down th- through some of the comments, bro. Oh, what's up? Uh, I don't know when you said that. My bad. If you're still in here, I wish I could see the time you said that. But uh, Tyrannic Wolf, what's good? How you doing, man? Yeah, no. People were in the comments saying weird shit. Like, you may not write your lyrics or make your beats or engineer it or do absolutely anything on it. But- <laughs> You're just amazing, Drake. Like, it's just something about your energy and the way you attack and the way it was engineered. All right, so give credit to everybody but him. He's a face and a voice. Yeah, literally, literally. Face and a voice. That's, come on, bro. What is that? That's how I look at him, though. Like, if you really break it down, that's what I look at him as. I don't see him as being the one that can. I, I guess. I guess, ultimately. Because he's a face and a voice. Other than that, he's not musically anything. Like, he's just someone to be there. The production. People were saying it was some of the best production. I'm like, what are you talking about? Not You're taking compared- R&B songs, speeding them up and upping the pitch and dropping some fucking 808s. There's nothing special about that. These are the, same, the same producers. same shit this motherfucker has been rapping on forever. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. These are the same Knock producers he's off. been working with the entire time, and they didn't hold up to the shit that they've done before. It just felt, again, like there was not any effort or love put into it. That's mm-hmm. just me. I didn't feel the passion. I didn't feel no hunger. I didn't feel shit. And I think that makes sense. I don't I don't know if – or maybe I, I can't speak for his feelings, but, like, I don't think he has a reason to really grind anymore. Hell no. Like, you've seen his house? Like, what the fuck? Bro could sell his whole shit and be good forever. Like, you don't need all that. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah. Or at least that's the way that I look at shit. Like, if you have mad shit, like, cool. But if you could get rid of all that shit and be good, then yeah. And and my conclusion was like, yo, why not just retire while you're on top? Like, why? Why yeah. are you just going to keep dropping shit and slowly but surely, like Andre 3, 3K said it, you're only as, um, what was what he said, only as popping as your last hit or something like that. I forget. But that concept, What's it's that? like yeah. Andre 3K said that in a song. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, but it's like, it's true. People look at you like that, even though I, I heavily disagree with that um people people yeah you're only as funky as your last cut that's what he said i don't agree with that 
And I don't think he was saying that like as he meant it, but he's just saying it from the perspective of the people. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. you know, that's what it is. You're gonna do that to yourself. I mean, regardless of what, you're gonna go down as an icon. You know what I mean? That's cool, but I feel like you should just stop while you're at your best or on top. Don't just start putting shit out just to put it out because you want to be relevant. Like, come on, bro. What is that? He That's also that did an interview like. about that too. 3K. He had an interview where he was talking about that shit. Where he said it about himself too. Where like, it was like, no, why would I try to do that shit? Like, basically the whole, I, I can't go like verbatim. Yeah. But I know that the idea of what he was saying was you can only do shit to a certain point before the shit you're doing is corny as fuck and it's not you anymore mm-hmm. and they're not going to fuck with you anymore. Exactly. So if you want to hold your authenticity, stop where you're good. Yeah. And he had a whole interview about that shit and I was like, damn, yeah, that makes sense. Like, don't just fucking keep doing it to do it. Like if, and that's what this dude seems like he's doing. Like he's just doing the same shit that keeps on working. Exactly. So it's, it's a machine, bro. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's literally a manufacturing process. It's not anything from the heart or the soul at this point. No. I feel that shit. Yeah. I can feel that shit. And I didn't. <laughs> like on this one. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I can feel the manufacturing or oh, I can oh, feel the, yeah. the passion behind shit. And yep. it just was at, it wasn't there. It was mm-hmm. missing for me. So thank you. But no thank you. I'm perfectly fine. Yeah, no. Without that one. That one was cool. I'm ready for Kendrick. I'd like to see what that's going to be like. That one I'm more excited about. Yeah. I I might go through and listen to... When Donda came out, I was like... I want to listen to it. Adamant about just, not listening to it, right? Yeah, yeah. You were like, fuck that shit. Fuck Kanye. So I played the first track. Okay, that's more than I did. It's the Donda chant. It's just Donda. 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 Donda, Donda, Donda. And I was like, what the fuck is Kanye doing? And then I saw that in the rhythm that they were saying Donda every time, because it was fast, it was slow, it was weird, there was no beat to it, there was nothing. And I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, there's Kanye doing his dumb shit again. It's his mom's last heartbeat monitor shit. Donda, Donda, every time. And then it like... Then it cuts. That's crazy. And I was like, never mind. Yeah. Like, I can't hate on that. Not at all. That's I can't crazy hate on that fuck. anymore. Like, that's wild. Yeah. And then I never listened to the next track after because I still haven't gone back since I found out that information about it. But Yeah, what, did you go and look it up or something? No, it just became a thing that, like, kept it getting turned. talked about. Like, oh. Like, everyone was just like, oh, did, did you know? Did you know? Did you? And, like, that was, like, the I real thing. I didn't see that at all anywhere. That's fucking wild. But that being the first track, I was like, this fucking Kanye dude, man, he just doesn't stop with the bullshit. And then I saw that shit and I was like, hold up, like that's actually that's actually dope. Jeez. Because like that's his mom's name. So yeah. like fucking I was like, Yeah, that's actually he's he's crazy for that. Because yeah. like even just I don't know I started really thinking about this shit because I think I talked about this before, but I like thinking about where somebody was at when they came up with something, like mentally, like the thought process to get to that point. And I was like, I wonder if the D's represent the heartbeat, like Don, duh, like, dun, duh, dun, duh, dun, duh, dun, duh, duh, And I was like, dun, damn, I wonder if he put that together in his head and, like... That is actually up... perfect. So I was like, that's actually pretty fucking cool. So I'm thinking now, like, I do have to at least take a listen through it. I was that talking to my cousin. Listen to he listened more. to one track and he was... Or he showed me one track and it was like... A, it was kind of like a banger track. Like, it was just, like, some hype shit. But not really at the same time. It was a Kanye version of that. So it's, like, it's still dope. The beat was good. If he's on all the production, that beat was fire. I think I'm going to actually take a full listen through it. You know how many tracks it is? I could get that information right now. I don't know off top, though. Yo, intern. Let's go with our intern, bro. Keep saying he's he, good for it. No, he is. He's he's doing editing. And he's going to be here when we have a guest. Oh, uh, here we go. Donda is 27 mm-hmm. tracks. Yeah, damn. 27 tracks. You go from seven tracks to 27, yay? What the fuck? Well, now Jesus is King was. How big was that? Because this is after Pablo. Like this. Oh is yeah, true. Sure. That's oh, when Pablo he was, doing was more than seven services. tracks. Pablo was a. Who, what was his seven track album? It was probably that one. Nah, there's no way. Oh no, it was Yay. It was this one when yeah, it was at the yeah, fucking yeah. mountain in fucking Wyoming. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, Pablo yeah. was. Yeah, Pablo was twenty. 
Uh, Jesus is King was 11. Jesus is King. That was when he started with the Sunday yeah, services. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, we do have a uh, we do have an intern though. He's going to be editing uh, the episodes uh, and getting them ready to release and stuff. And he'll be here with guests to handle cameras. Word. Yeah, I could have him come through every time. I could just let him know, like just let him know anytime. Like he can come make through, it. fact check for us. Mm. That's what we need. That'd be cool. Tell him pull his laptop through. That'll be that's easy. I just didn't really think that deep into that part of it. I was like, whatever, yeah. if we got the shit. But I'd rather have him and just be able to be like, hey. <laughs> Look this shit up. Nah, we really got to start listening to these albums so we could actually talk about them. Yeah, no, I'm gonna listen to Donda. <laughs> well, I'm gonna talk about to it for it next now. time, mm -hmm. for sure. But this one, CLB gets a fucking six at max out of ten for me. I don't know. I can't give it more My than that. My friend said it was a four out of ten, and I'm just gonna go with that four out of ten. I've listened to all 21 so tracks, so it. I'm gonna just leave it there. Like, I mean, feature wise, the features were kind of cool. Like, you had some big names on it. I don't know. I I don't even know if I could give it a six because now if I'm breaking it down, you got 20. If I fuck with like seven of the 20 tracks, oh boy, you're talking about a three out of 10. That's 30 percent, 33 percent. Drake, what happened, bro? Yikes, dog, yikes. Drake, what happened, bro? What happened? What happened, bro? What happened? What happened, bro? That's nuts. What happened? That's nuts. Yeah, if I fuck with seven out of 21, that's literally 33 percent. That's a 30 percent out of 10. That's, that's not not good, bro. I guess I have to give it a three if I'm gonna be real. Yeah. Uh. Yep. Well, fuck it. So we've gone. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Oh so we've gone God. 57 minutes and 13 seconds, and we've already talked about our main topic. Everything. We didn't waste no time. We got straight into shit. Yes, sir. The fuck we gonna do now? Yeah, we could. Would you rather wait on the way? Would you rather wait on the way? Would you rather on the way out and do some freestyles? I definitely want to do some freestyles, dude. Some freestyles would be cool. We haven't done that shit in a real long time. Yeah. Yo, last episode that dropped, not last episode we recorded, last episode that dropped with Wavy. Did you listen to it yet? No. Bro, there's the section where we're setting up Pong and you're beatboxing and he's freestyling. I left all that shit in because, like, normally I'll cut the setup out. Yeah. But, like, I left that shit in because that shit is hard, bro. Like, you're going off. He's going off. Like, that was such a wild thing. Like, you got to listen to that shit. Y'all yeah. got to listen to that shit. That right. shit just dropped. It's the most recent episode as of now uh, for whoever is live, which looks like it's just me at this point. So, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but um, definitely run back the Wavy episode. That's episode eight. And <laughs> listen to... It's about three quarters of the way through because we ended on the table. We didn't come back to here. Okay. Um, you beatboxing and him freestyling was crazy. Yeah, no, that shit was fun. I felt like we were definitely in the zone vibing. Yeah, I could tell that like y'all do that shit too. Like have done that shit together before. Like that wasn't his first time freestyling to your beatbox, and that wasn't your first time. No, just bro. well, I know it wasn't your first time, but it was, that was every day. We used to live together every fucking day. That shit was lit for hours. No, nah, I, I believe it. I could, you could hear it. You could. He he wasn't stumbling on his shit. You were switching up beats like it was nothing, and he was catching those beats as they switched. Like that, y'all yeah, yeah. did that shit. Synergy. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Little brother, man. So hell yeah. Shout out to Wavy. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Here come the clouds. <laughs> I put a ball to the side. Y'all don't get to see him. <laughs> oh shit! It's about to rain later. Yo, I'm so done. Bro, <laughs> it rained the other day. All right, so this episode is coming out way later than what y'all know. So, like, yeah. you're going to hear us talking about CLB and Donda fucking three weeks after they dropped. Right. But we just had the hurricane from fucking Louisiana reach up here and rain and give us a month's worth of rain and 12 hours or whatever the fuck it was. I drove through that shit, bro. Ooh. I drove through that shit, like, ten times. I'm driving on the street. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, man. I'm out here. Ain't nobody else out here. I'm getting everything. Like, I'm out here. No. I drove through puddles deeper than, like, halfway up my door. People were still... Oh, yeah, people were out there. Yeah, everyone was out there. They're like, oh, my God, I've been waiting forever. And I'm like, yeah, I got you, bro. And then fucking... That's lit. But I'm like... 
I'm out in New Britain and I'm going through and I'm swerving through the fucking shit trying to figure out where it dips to stay away from the water. But I still couldn't help avoid or but to not be able to avoid fucking these puddles, bro, that are just I can't see out of my windows. I can't see out of anything because I'm driving through and the water is just fucking sending it off to the side. My battery light is popping up and I'm like, God damn, dude, like what is going is my shit about to break down? So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm going home. And I get to right over here in Farmington where you're coming up the street into Bristol. And um, I'm like, all right, bet, fuck it. I'm already on my way home. I've been driving for like 20 minutes. Fuck this rain. Let me just fucking get home. And I'm going. And then I come into this massive fucking puddle, dude. I'm telling you, like, the entirety of my grill had to be underwater. Like, I'm not even exaggerating at all. I got into the shit and I almost immediately stopped and I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm sending it. Cause like if I stop, then I'm not going. So I just send that shit. And then my car starts going to the right. Huh? Was somebody in the car? No, just me. Just me. Just me coming home. Hell no. I mean, even at that point though, I probably still would have done the same shit. Actually thinking about it now, I got to get out of that shit. Yeah. I probably would have tried to go left a little bit, but right here I was just trying to go straight. So I floor it. And I'm just looking at where there's no water, like where I could kind of see the road being shiny, not just water. And there's a telephone pole here. My car starts going this way. And I'm like, no, dude, no, 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 fucking send it. And I got out of it. And now, like, my car makes noise when I start it. And, like, I just hear, like, a little happening. And I think I need a new alternator. Fuck. Yeah, what's good? Yo, GBGX. Sincere. Sincere, how you doing? How you doing? Good. Welcome good. to the good. podcast. Yeah, you. Yeah. How you doing? Definitely, how you doing? Definitely catching the tail end because we about to get the fuck. Now, it's only been an hour. I mean, <laughs> yeah, maybe. But maybe what's not. up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? Thank you for popping in. That's fucking wild. But bro. yeah, bro, I think I need a new alternator now. That sucks. That fucking sucks. You just got that car. I bro. just got that car. I've been through five tires. I've been through almost another battery. Not yet. Need a new battery. Oh, my Almost God. another battery. Living my G's. How y'all living? Oh, we good out here, dog. Living we good right, out man. We got here. the Terramana. We had some nasty ass, disgusting ass. Oh, uh, we had Paul's ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had Paul's ass. Uh, Terramana. <laughs> we got some uh, fucking... Charming so Jewish. I wish I was just drinking that instead. Can I try that shit? Hell yeah. Go ahead, bro. I want to see what's up with this. This shit is smooth. Uh, let me get a cup. Please. <laughs> Not Paul's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bro, want that, that one, dude. Was... I just want to be able to like take a sip of this without it being out the bottle. Was so disgusting. I want to yeah. see how. I don't know if it's because it's been sitting. Blech. Sounds like my problem. No breaks. No breaks. Shit. All work. Oh, it's this guy that loves making that face. No, no, it's not that guy. It's, it's a not that guy? guy. No, that's just a Twitch emote. Oh, okay. No, it's definitely not that guy. I don't think it's that guy. This nah, this dude's speaking way too good English. There's no it's... way this is my boy Persoon. If it is, let me know. But there's no way you switched your name again. I don't even think Twitch would let you. Dang. No breaks though. I mean, that's the grind, bro. That's the grind. Hard Literally. work. Hard work. All right, I'm going to try this shit right now. That's so juice. Shout out to uh, all the Korean followers. No smell. That's reassuring. Just, just drink it. Yeah, no. I'm about to. It's that charm. <laughs> he said, nah, it's not. LOL. Yeah, no, I had a feeling. Damn. Smooth, right? Hell yeah. Yeah, man. That shit does not do anything to you. I was like preparing like nope no smooth that shit went straight down yes sir that shit's a problem yes sir i could have a a whole this is what i'm talking about when siete comes through right i said it earlier y'all see how much is left in these bottles (laughs) y'all know that bottles start full right (laughs) so i just want to say i have i get help (laughs) i get help for um, my problems, no, right. I get help on all these. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get help on all these bottles, bro. Come on. Nah, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I'm just saying though. Like when I when I experience it for the first time, I already know that he's been through. He's he knows what it feels like in the morning. <laughs> yeah, no, I was good this morning. I was good. I was yeah. Good. I had no problems. Oh, that's good. That's that's yeah. best case scenario right there. So I mean, yeah, we already got through everything. We were live for an hour and five minutes. 
I don't know. I don't want to cut it super short. I feel like there's more that we could. I don't want to force it either. I no, mean, I definitely could... don't want to force it. I just we, we could... haven't seen each other in a while either. I mean, true, what you been up to? True. Like, I know you just were performing at a festival. Fucking bitches getting money, bro. There's nothing else to it. You know what I'm saying that's all I really do. It's nothing new, man. It's just you know, regular shit. Hey, like my boy Sincere said, no breaks. <laughs> no breaks. <laughs> nah, fam. Um, yeah, I had a little on uh, on uh, uh, festival yesterday. It's a stone. Uh, what was it called? The Stone Festival. Stone Festival out in Springfield, Massachusetts. Shout out to Springfield, Massachusetts. Mm. Great turnout. Great food. Had a banging ass. Had dude. I wish I had knew his name. The name of his business. I shout him out right now. But dude was serving like slushies with Smirnoff in them. And I seen the pineapples and I was like, wait a minute. Mm. He fucking took the pineapple, cut the top off, hollowed it out, threw the snow in it. The mango. I asked for the mango syrup in it. And dude just fucking he put the little umbrella on. He put some pineapple, some strawberries, some God damn some, bro. Ew. When I tell you every girl just like, oh, where'd you get that? 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 Oh. Yo, you see a little tent right there. You see the, my man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go show us some love. Yeah, man. Oh, that shit was banging as fuck. Um shout out uh shout out India for having us, giving us the the platform, the opportunity to perform. Shout out to all the artists. Shay Mystique. You know what I'm saying? Lit, lit, Went lit. Up there, killed it. Me, myself. Went up there, did some songs. He's a right. song. Yeah, I'm all right, man. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah, man. Went out there and uh, shit. I mean, just had a good time. Showed love, supported, enjoyed the vibes. It was a nice ass day yesterday. Yeah. Um, and then after that, I just kicked it with the homie, bro so fucking ah so fucking yeah that's pretty much it as far as that goes i actually ended up talking to her about um a couple venues yeah see that we could secure she gave me a couple names of some she said there's one that she definitely has pull on which is the one that i auditioned uh, at i'm over here trying to be polite and shit. i don't give a fuck we got viewers out here and shit. Oh, actually, speaking of, real quick, not to cut you off. Uh, Sincere said, "Hey, y'all can stay live for another hour. This is dope." And he said, "I'm stoked to finally be able to get out and perform again. It's Hell all yeah. about the vibes." Oh yeah, appreciate you, bro. And yeah, definitely get out there and start performing. Shit is lit, bro. Shit's addicting. Yeah, that's a fact. So fucking, I was gonna say, bop, 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 yep. bop, bop. yeah, a couple she, venues. Yeah, yeah. There's one venue that the one where I auditioned at. That I can for sure, she's like, for sure, like, we can get that. And she's having a little event October 7th. Mm. And she's like, oh, well, if you want to do the food drive, then we can kind of combine it. I was like, oh, well, let me talk to the guys. Yo, that's actually dope. Let me talk to the guys because, um, I mean, it is a smaller venue. It's, like, pretty small. I was like, I don't know. We're trying to trying to pack the shit we'll see yo if if we can't get the other two that she was talking about she's like you probably want to do one that's called the aquarius now and that was the biggest one um and then there was another one she named but if anything we'll probably do that shit you know no, that, it all sounds that i'm down for whatever man i mean so we should just go pop up and just yeah. check it out and and just see if like you know what this is a good size that can rock with this yeah we should be able to pack the fuck out of that. Spot. I was just it's gonna small. say, at this point, I'm not even really. I don't want to say I'm not like concerned with it. Like size matters as far as the venue. Like, I, like I said, I'm not doing fucking Lily's bed. Like that's fucking oh. ridiculous. Yeah, like dude. if I was a SoundCloud rapper with one fan, I'll go do that shit. But um, <laughs> <laughs> because like you might have six other people that are already there, and then we'll be it's full. Mad funny. But um, if we just pack the shit out, like. It'll be i think luck. that's good that exactly exactly like it's gonna look great like we're gonna be like them people that damn they keep coming and packing shit we gotta give them something bigger like true true you know what i mean true, like true this pandemic had shit unlocked for a minute it still does bro it still does this shit ain't done so yeah outside of that bro i mean possible venue lockdown mm-hmm. for the food drive uh check that out by the time this comes out probably won't wouldn't have happened yet or won't have happened yet so definitely pull up to the food drive show mm. love to the community um and, and let's get it man yeah Fucking outside of that shit man what else i got going on i've been moving 
Um, it's been couch surfing the last two months. Finally got a little spot. Oh, where? So that's cool. Yeah. Uh, you back out here? In Hartford. Not oh, back okay. in Hartford, but I mean, Still close cool. enough. Yeah, it's close enough. He said, hey, don't talk down on SoundCloud rappers. I ain't mean it like that, bro. <laughs> I ain't mean it like that. I'm just saying if I'm going to go perform, I want to be able to, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to sound like I'm talking shit about SoundCloud rappers. It's just the venue that I'm talking about was ass. <laughs> like you can't fit more than whoever lives in your house there, and it, it's not. It's not a fun spot. Yeah, no, that's just that's crazy. That's all I meant by that. Yeah. So, Word yeah. though. So, I'm trying to think, what else? I mean, boom, got a spot, getting situated, getting grounded, mm. bro. <laughs> fucking studio right now it's like a flood really it, bro i like, gotta show you these videos bro it's so ridiculous is shit getting fucked up or did you see no shit's not gonna it's not flooded but like all right did you see he didn't see nothing yet yo so about a week ago about a week about ago a week ago fucking um, <laughs> I had to hit the little bobby Schmurder real quick that shit was the worst that was the worst Fucking, so you know, in the kitchen, yeah, r- r- not above the fridge, but next to the fridge, the they got the same fucking tiles. Like no, so I here. saw that at the meeting. Okay, um, so you saw where, that like the ceiling was like missing. Gone. Yeah, yeah. So that happened because of a leak. Fucking calling the landlord. Yo, 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 yo. You need to fix this. 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 Dodging, 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 dodging. Finally comes through like two days later. Oh, it's not leaking. It's not leaking. It's not leaking. So they come back and I'm like, bro, oh, stop being a fucking idiot, pretty much. Um end up putting new tiles up. That same night, bro. The shit's leaking through the new fucking tiles, bro. Bro. They didn't fix the leak. They just threw tiles up. Now, bro, two tiles came down. The fucking light that is yeah. up there is hanging. Tile shit everywhere, all soaked, soggy, water everywhere. Same thing right over the bathroom. Half that tile's on the floor. It's just getting worse and worse, bro. I'm just like, at this point, we need to just, like, go. Yo, is your stuff still there? No, I got all my shit except for my computer, which is what I need to get Get next. Get that shit the fuck out of there, bro, because you know what that ceiling was like. Like, that's... Yeah, no, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's like, like I hope there's renter's insurance on that place, or unless he, I don't know, I don't know the situation, but I hope there's some kind of insurance in place because there's way too much equipment in there to have fucking water pouring out the ceiling at any point. Like, that's not good. I'd be scared as fuck, dude. Like, yeah, no, it's not good. It's not good at all. It's not good at all. It's not good at all, bro. It's just bullshit. I'm just like, bro, how long are you going to take that? Yeah, no, like, that's... At some point... That's not cool. But, I mean... I don't know. Is the same dude that was there when I was there at the meeting working on the ship? Yeah, you seen same him, right? Dude. Then, yeah, dude? when he popped in the doorway real quick to talk about it. Because he was yeah, like, like, oh, everything's all idiot. good, I'm going to leave. <laughs> yeah, bro, this shit is fucking... It's bullshit. Sound it's, like it. I wouldn't pay him a fucking dime, bro. Not yet. Not shit. hell no. Nah. You get money afterwards if my shit is cool. Yeah. Like God forbid my shit get fucked up. It's too much technology. And that's what I'm saying. Like equipment ain't shit. fucking cheap. And like to nah. have computers that could do the shit, even if just the computer goes, bro. Like it's what? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. He said, damn, yeah, move all that shit. Yeah, bro. That shit can't, that's can't facts. be around water. That's facts. I'm about to get that shit out there. Out of there. Like, if not tonight, tomorrow morning. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's smart. That's smart. Yeah, I got ASAP. You, So, yeah, man. That's pretty much it, man. How about you? Um, I really haven't been doing shit other than what I've been doing. Exactly. I've just been fucking driving, bro. I've just been driving. Uh, Driving with Lyft, that is. Use the code JJPOD Jungle Juice Pod if y'all want to earn seventeen hundred dollars in your first month. Yeah, I told you how I came up the other night or last week. No, nah. bro, I fucking I went to my homie's birthday party. Went to Dave and Buster's. 
They close at 11 on a Saturday, which is fucking ridiculous. Fuck out of here. They have a bar. Bro, you want some bullshit? What's up? Yo, they count your fucking drinks. And when you they feel like you've had too much, they cut you off. They're like, no, you can't have any more. They got a cop in the fucking corner and everybody's watching you. Bro. That's not how casinos work. Don't they want money for tokens and shit? Bro, like, I they thought were literally the point like, was get you fucked up so you spend money. They cut my homie off. And then when I went to get a drink, they're like, is that going to be yours? Because we just want to make sure you're not going to give it to him because he's been drinking too much. And I'm like, yo, are you dead ass? So I had to drink this shit because I ordered it for him. (laughs) (laughs) It was for him. (laughs) So we fucking. (laughs) Yeah, bro. So I fucking. We're like, yo, bro, let's go to the games, bro. So we went over to the game section where they didn't follow us. And I was like, bro, here, bro, take this shit. And he drank it. He just. It's like the whole shit. I was like, bro, like, how the fuck? I've never heard of that shit before. Like, Yo. I'm legally allowed to drink. What the fuck is wrong with you? And you don't even know, like, I could be DD. Like, he could get fucked up all he wants. Who cares? Exactly. Like, unless he's, like, being a problem. He was not being a problem. He was yeah, chilling. So, but I'm chilling, saying, though, bro. just in general, like, usually, like, a cutoff happens because somebody is being, like, extra. Like, someone. I'm like, just saying like I know some people that get cut off. Fuck. Like, I, I've i seen the process. Like, I know how they yeah, act. And if they're sense. acting nuts, then, yeah, fucking get them out of here. Like, no more drinks for you, dog. But if you're just fucking there, like, wh- like, all right, so, like, how many drinks do you think he had before they told him, like, no? Because I'm thinking, like, if you tell me no before five, I'm fighting. Six. Before they said no? Yeah, I would say maybe six. I guess I could kind of, but still, no, it depends on his demeanor. It depends on how he chilling, is. Bro. Like chilling, yeah, he's chilling. Nah, bro. fuck that shit. He's chilling. Is he's... it like beers or is it like? No, they were like mixed drinks, mixed drinks okay. and shit. But it's like, bro, really? Mm. I've never seen that. That kind of shit is corny. I've never seen that before, so that was weird as fuck. Yeah, um, no. last time I was at Dave and Buster's, I got one of the pops that I have on that wall, and it's um. It's a Black Panther chase version. So with Pops, you got the chase version, which is like, it's like I, th- I want to say it's like one out of six or some shit. Yeah. It's like the rare alternate version, right? So I went there and I was uh, I was playing the games or whatever, and I had the tickets and I was like, all right, I'm about to get a pop. Like, I'm about to go find this shit. And I didn't have enough for a pop. So I took that pop and I walked out the door with that pop. Because <laughs> yeah, fuck, fuck that shit. I'm not paying for drinks and then paying you the same money I paid for tickets to buy this pop. No. Now I have yeah, no, a fifty dollar pop on my wall because that shit has gone up in value the whole time. Shit has been lit. And it's a cool ass pop. It's um I think it's the one with him without his mask on. I've got a whole bunch of different variants of Black Panther yeah. up there and it's it's a pretty That's dope pop. fire. That's fire though. You had to snag that. Yeah, I seen a chase on the wall and I was like, I'm not no, dude, like I'm not leaving without it. Yeah, um, and I'm definitely not paying for it. <laughs> fuck Dave and Buster's. So I fucking left at eleven, and then I was like, nah, I'm gonna do some rides. Fuck it. I'm like, I just want to stay up, but everybody's going home, so I'm gonna do some rides. I was thinking I was only gonna do like two, three rides, but I ended up driving to like two in the morning. It's and all the addicting. rides, all the rides I was getting was like, it started off like. 15 minutes here mm. and then it was just like 30 40 minutes like everywhere bro i ended up in fucking greenwich bro mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i was like nah, i gotta go back home fuck you know how to set a filter to get your rides back home yeah but at that point i didn't even want to like it was a, 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 a an hour and 20 minutes to get yeah. back home and i didn't want it to take any longer than that like by then i was just like i just want to go straight got home. you got you yeah i've been there so, yeah so i, was like, I just want to go straight home bro yeah. I had been drinking. I was, <laughs> I was fucked up. <laughs> I was fucked up. He said, yo, these people don't even no, know. We about to so die. <laughs> <laughs> yo, dead ass, bro. So fucking, bro. So I ended up making 150 just in rides. And I fucking got hit with the most clutch bonus, bro. $150 bonus, bro. I made $300. Did you have a... I'll ask you about it later because we yeah. can look into it. I want to see what that was, though, because there's a bonus coming up for me right now. I don't know if it's coming up for everybody. It's a $124 bonus if I complete, like, 70 rides this week, and I'm going to do that easy. Like Easy, bro. I'm but, about to get back on the road. I didn't work all week. But, no, nah, that's lit, though. Like, And how how many hours would you say that was, like, that whole time to get that 150? Okay, so I had done – you know what's funny? Um, or 300. You know what's funny? I did, like – 
I tried doing shit in the beginning of the day. Saturday in the beginning of the day, it was very slow. So I really wasted like four hours just trying to get like, just ended up with like $70. Mm, mm. But then the fucking between 11 and 2 in the morning, bro, that's when I made the rest. Yeah. On what day of the week? Saturday night. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Bro, it was crazy. Yeah. It was just constant. Boom, boom, boom. People sending their girls <laughs> across the Yo, always, state. bro. Always. <laughs> always. I'm like, are you kidding me, bro? Whatever. Yep. I'm just, I'm just driving. I'm just driving, bumping. You listen to what I, I want to listen to. We out, like. Oh, bro. That shit is mad funny. Hell yeah. So, yeah. I made some. I looked at that shit after because you know I, when you get shit in succession, you don't get to look at how much you're making. Yeah, so you I just didn't see it, it till afterwards. The end of the fucking day, and it said three hundred something dollars. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. You're lying. <laughs> like yeah, that's just like, like yo, this, what? Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, nah, for sure, for sure. Because my goal, I had set my weekly goal to five hundred, and I made like nine, almost nine hundred. Mm. Yeah. I upped it so I was like, I'm gonna make it to a thousand. My weekly's a thousand right now, and I'm hitting that hard as fuck every time. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, you're going hard too. I gotta tell you, I'm making sure I got a lot of shit to take care of. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure it's taken care of. Facts. But um, I don't know. Shit's shit's been lit. Shit's been easy. Like, it's easy bread, bro. It's crazy. It kind of flies. JJPOD. Seventeen hundred in your first thirty days. We're not even trying to sponsor it. It really is just like saving our ass. No, nah, straight right up. Now. Even if I didn't have a code to give y'all. Yeah, you know, like this shit is really saving my ass and your ass right now. It's really crazy. Yeah. So shout out to Lyft, man. Especially now during these times. Like it's so clutch. Hundred so percent clutch. While we on sponsor time, I want to throw this out there too. Um I had another company that um I guess working with i don't know they gave me they gave me some shit and they gave me a code Word. that y'all could get a percentage off oh, of if you shit. Use it. this is for all my tattooed people out there if y'all got some tattoos y'all see these they're not looking i didn't use it today i fucked up but uh lucky 13s they gave me a whole kit it's um it's just, it just pops the color back out of your tattoos. It brings them back to brand new. That's dope. And the days that I was doing it, it was there, and you have to keep doing it. And it's like one of them things, like, you do it, and then, like, your shit's popping. I got to use it today. I woke up today, set my shit up. We, we're here. I'm going to use it before I go out tonight. Um, but they gave me a code for it. I wish I could really give you guys a before and after right now. But if you want your tattoos to look like you just got them done yesterday even though you got them done three years ago or if you just got a tattoo and want it to heal correctly hit up lucky 13s um i'll throw their at on here in post but anybody in chat lucky 13s on instagram i know they have a website too obviously use code jr kicks you'll see that name right there boom perfect under me um use that code on checkout you get 25 percent off your whole order right there that's um, good. It. That's they're fire. dope though. Their stuff, like I, I'm talking immediately. I started using it and I was like, God damn! Like I forgot. Really yo, straight up, like my, I was ready to start taking pictures and shit. Like That's I was hard. like, God damn, my shit really looked like I just got it done. I can't even imagine. So like, there's another thing too. Like if you shave your arms, then or not your arm. My bad. If you shave wherever your tattoo is at, then it looks brand new. And, like, that's a thing for sure because, like, hair just that makes sense. distorts the image a little bit or whatever. Yeah. But, like, if I shave it and then put that shit on, I can't even imagine, bro. Like, it's got to look like I just got the shit done. Like, literally, you like, do took it. the needle just off to my see. shit. Uh, right? I'm about to do it. I'm about to just see what it looks like because who the fuck am I to have arm hair? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. it's stupid. But, um, yeah, Lucky 13s, though, they're dope. <laughs> Get the whole kit. Get the whole kit. <laughs> Who am I to have arm hair? His <laughs> episode name right there. <laughs> Who am I to have arm hair? Yeah, bro. Lift for life. <sighs> it's gonna be my next face tap. Just the lift logo. What's their logo? The word. So yeah, just the word. Lift. Right here. Right my A couple teardrops coming off it. <laughs> Purple teardrops. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> just do it across my whole shit, bro. I give everybody five stars. I don't give. Oh, a fuck. every time, yeah. every time, unless they smell real bad. You ever get like I some had, smelly I motherfuckers in your car? Smelly mother, just one. Oh just my one god! I don't give them a negative rating, but I just don't rate them. 
because like I don't want them because they're gonna know like it. So like I know for me, I'm 450 rides on the dot. I think, Yo. and I got five stars still after all I of got that. 4.9 last time I checked. I don't know why. Damn, what you do, bro? I don't know, bro. That's nuts. I don't know. I got five stars after 450 rides, and. I know that I'm looking at that shit all the time. I don't know if Lyft consumers are looking at that shit all the time. Like, um, like if they look after the ride, like, oh, what did he rate me? Just to see if it dropped or whatever. But I don't want to give that one smelly person the fucking thing because you could go back and rate people afterwards. Like, you could, like, I could go next week and rate people from yesterday. So, like, I don't want them to be like, oh, I know that was him. Like, I'm going to give him a zero and then fuck my shit up. So I just don't rate them. Mm. But, like... Smelly people in my car is fucking terrible, especially like trying to explain it, it to sucks, the next person. Bro. Yes, like bro, I'm bro. sorry. The back like seat lingers, smells bro. like onions. Like that was that was dude before. Lingers. I wish I had something for you. Like the best is when people smell good. Oh, when they smell good, it's dope. It's like, Cause like my car smells good already. They get in the car and they're like, "Damn, it smells good in here." And I'm like, "Hell yeah, dude." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. But um, I had a couple weirdos. My thing is people that get on the phone and they're just like screaming. I'm just like, shut up. Bro. I don't understand. Man, I, I want to hear your life mm-mm. right now. I personally couldn't get into somebody else's car and have a personal conversation. It's crazy. To me. I can't imagine that happening in my head, but I'm like, whatever. Y'all don't care. Like, I know, that's fucking weird. It's just funny. I told you about the guy that fucking literally was confessing to me about his drug problems and how he wanted yes. to change. Yes. But literally was having me go to pick up some whatever the yep. fuck he was getting. Yeah, one hundred percent. That shit is crazy. I'm like, all right, bro. Yep. You really don't have to convince me of shit. This is what <laughs> I'm, you I'm do. just driving. This is what you want to do, go ahead. I had a dude, I had to pick him up from Hartford. I pulled up and he made me wait 15 minutes, but he's like, oh, I'm going to give you like a nice cash tip. And I was like, all right, whatever. I'll just wait. Fuck it. Did not give you shit? No, he did. He did. Oh, okay. But uh, I pick him up and it, immediately talking, I'm like, this man's coked up out of his mind. And he was. He, How are you he coked ended up, up getting to and it. you still take a long time to get out? Because he was just talking to everybody. Like three, four ah. other people came outside while I was waiting. They're like, are you waiting for him? And I was like, yeah, I am. They're like, all right, let me go tell him. And then fuck it, every time, like, different people will come out. Are you waiting for this guy? Yeah, yeah, I am. Like, they wanted him out. They didn't want him in there anymore. <laughs> Get him the fuck out. Yeah, they're like, all right, I'll go tell him right now. I'm like, all right, cool. So he gets in the car, and he's talking to me about it. And then he's like, yeah, sorry, I'm just on a lot of coke right now. And the, he eventually got into that. And then um, he's telling me, though, he grew up in Bristol. And I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, Bristol's Not dope, right? And he's like, oh, yeah, I love Bristol, man. And then he started using some real crazy racial slurs that I was not comfortable with him just spitting at me in the back of my car and i'm like god damn dude you're weird white dude yeah um, figured. yeah just make sure we understand that nah, I um, figured. and then he's talking to me about like oh yeah you know bristol you know the bristol boys and i'm like yeah yeah i know somebody that was like in that movie or whatever and talking mm-hmm. about chuck yeah and then i asked him if you know he's like no nah, i don't know him i don't know him. i just know the movie and it's like, like all right bro but that dude was weird as fuck but then they gave me like 40 dollars cash after the drive cool so that shit was cool it was whatever and it was like a 25 minute drive i think took him to plainville 20 minute drive something like that whatever it was it was like a 20 minute ride about 20 dollars 18 dollars some shit but yeah that was uh fuck that guy (laughs) thanks for the dodo that's crazy bro lift you meet some fucking interesting ass people man it makes it kind of fun like yeah. not knowing who the fuck like you get those people that are just like back there silent and it's like all right cool like i'd rather be silent too yeah like i don't want to talk to you right. but like if you get people in there talking crazy it's like yeah all right cool yeah what else <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 the funny thing is like friday and saturday nights again you're people picking people up from bars and they're just having a great fucking time yeah just talking about stupid shit in the back yeah She's like, oh my gosh, shut up. I picked up some, so I got, (laughs) I got these like LED lights in my car and shit. So like my car is lit up blue when you get in. Mm. So I picked up somebody and she was a bartender. I guess she like had her like last drink or whatever. Like, I guess bartenders do that Mm. at the end of their shift. She got in the car and she's like, oh, this is Club Sean. And I was like, what the fuck? So I just started bumping shit and we're just driving, just bumping shit. I was like, yo, this is nuts. Like, what the fuck? (laughs) You got to call, you got to figure out a way to get in there and call it Club Sean now. Yeah, right? Like, changed my shit. No, nah, then she ended up changing it to Sean Lounge, and I was like, Lounge sounds way cool. Lounge is fire. Lounge sounds way cool. Sean Lounge. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Facts. <laughs> Gotta get a little hookah in there, bro. Yo, if key. Yeah, hookah. Bro, if I had a hookah in my back seat. You'll get man ratings through the roof. Yo, yeah. I'm looking at my shit. People are leaving comments now. Someone left like some goat emojis on my shit. I'm like, yeah, let's get it. Like, what I are you am the doing, fucking goat. Bro? Like, I'm just... Yo, my car's lit, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 People fuck with my car. That's dope. Good shit. That's just been cool, though. But yeah, let's fucking. Uh, I forgot I brought everything up here except for the mouse. Piece of shit. Um. But yeah, I could start throwing like some beats on over there. Where? Why is it doing that? Why can't I open? I was I was just talking about this with fucking Dante. What's up? What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying in this fucking country ass fuck right now. <laughs> Flying in my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't see pilot. Let's get the fuck out of this country, motherfucker. Yeah. I can't see me. What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> the fuck is this? Bro, the, yeah. the change in tonality is fucking epic, bro. That shit's hilarious. Right? Like he's trying to be as professional as possible. What really happened that Augusta's like? The fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending this to Dante right now. Who's just talking about this video? Crying. I'm about to run to the bathroom real quick before I start this up. Ah, shit. You know what fucking time it is. It's already time for Jim Hardy to use a 30 second bathroom break. Yeah, Leo, where's Dante at? Yo, worst fucking champagne I have ever had in my life. Yo, that's a classic video, bro. The fuck is this? <laughs> Shit flying in my mouth. Can't see pollen. Let's get the fuck. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I might even not even have to beatbox. He's probably all. Can't even speak today. On his way down the stairs as we speak, because this motherfucker is the fastest pisser ever, bro. What we talking about? I just said I started beatboxing. And I was like, you know what? I might not even have to beatbox. This motherfucker's probably already on his way down the stairs because he's the fastest pisser I've ever met. Oh, <laughs> I literally walked in on that line. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah, no, nah, I'll be quick with it. I'll be trying to waste time. That shit is crazy, bro. I don't get it. Yo, you know what I've been thinking of, too? Like, I know we can't, like, just take the whole name, but, like, a five fingers thing would be dope. <laughs> like, I've been wanting to just, like, be able to rap over beat switches and shit. Like, yeah. That shit would be lit. We got to start getting those ready, then. Yeah, no, we got to have those. Yeah. Like, I want to get them from people and have them, like, ready to go. That should be lit. I got a beat right here loaded up, though. Um, I mean, I'm probably going to end up using it for a song at some point, but it's uh, by 3 a.m., and I got this shit ready to play. Let's go. Hopefully it, uh, let me make sure it's going to play to the stream, too, because. Play to the motherfucking stream. It'll be way off. So I'm going to start it right now. Or, I mean, right now. Huh? See, that's the type of shit I'm talking about. Yeah, so fuck that then. I'm gonna just load it up into this shit. Damn, that suck. No, we're good. We got different fucking. Oh, yeah. Is it gonna work or no? It's gonna work. And like. How many seconds? Oh, it's already ready. This Terramana is hitting extra hard. Yo, dude. this shit caught me off guard. 
I drank way too much of that shit. <laughs> too fast. Good. I wasn't ready for it. You didn't even finish your cacti, bro. <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? What yeah. cacti, bro? What cacti? That's weird. Nothing in the headphones. I'm a piece of fucking shit. That's just what it is. All right. I just slid the chair condom off the chair, bro. I apologize. See if they get any raw. Whoa. <laughs> Produced by 3 a.m. Uh. Yo, these days I can't lie, I'm hella disappointed. Yeah, this music industry, all this jointed. Uh, I should be anointed for keeping it real. Uh, it's the seventh seal It must be the end of the world When I reveal real scale Yeah, uh, I tip the scale uh, Everything I say too heavy uh, I try to spit, they don't let me uh, They don't want me Okay, I get the motherfucking real Out my chest and in your soul And in your heart and just connect it You already know, not disrespecting Nobody in the game, not my intention But yo, niggas is so weak And they retention Uh for the real edition of hip hop is not there So I gotta remind them all Okay, yeah, that 90 shit I gotta rewind or something And give it to you. Yeah, the timing's uh, too perfected I thought I wasn't uh, For this motherfucking time And this era But I think that was an error Cause I was supposed to give it to you Like that classic chicka chicka era Sound that you needed Like that vinyl's on the needle Yeah, that's me, that's how I bring it Yeah, y'all niggas so feeble that we go I gotta bring that shit And yes I speak those facts And nothing else never lack Uh, I'm feeling this beat I gotta do what it is Yeah, never sweat uh, All these weak motherfuckers That are supposed to be competition Uh, uh, this shit is just elation Okay, uh, this shit is just inflation Of the dollar, of the worth Of the rap that I love To get my life meaning What the fuck Yo, and if you ain't follow, then I guess it's fine You already know that divine got me Shit be God, body Every single time I'm on it uh, Four rings on my finger like Adi Straight champion shit uh, uh, Damaging this Motherfucking damage it is uh, Felt in hip hop these days That's the whole thing behind the plagas you already know I'm trying to tear down fucking Babylon Every single time that I go on Y'all niggas Babylon about so much bullshit I don't even feel Because that shit ain't even real And yo I'ma leave it right there because I'ma leave it right there because I'ma leave it right there because uh, That's as much as you can handle for today No more doses uh. Yo, I flow like osmosis and I ain't showing off It's just the way that I do, it's fucking natural <laughs> Yo I'll warm up round Yeah, I'ma just start it back over but You almost went through the whole shit Good shit though, good shit My boy still with the shits No, we gotta get the clouds out. <laughs> Voice got mad deep when you said that. Yeah, that yo, know, that happens when you have the shit like for some reason it should be deep. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Gotta get the fucking clouds out. Get the clouds out. Get the clouds out of my mouth. Let them know that I'm here to spit the shit that I'm about. Never going down south. No, it's always north, cause I'm going up and I'm going up, yeah. Firework in the sky, how I get it, about to blow up, I'm about to go nuts, you already know what the fuck is up, I really do this, I really get up on the mic and spit the truest, the shit that I be doing been the purest, 
Hey, he got help me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but that's it kinda hard though. You could keep doing that. I'ma spit these bars though. Let them know I'm going hella hard though. Whoa, like I be whipping out in the car though. Oh, yeah, that's a Lancer. Man, I used to be one back in 2012. Let them know that they ain't fucking with me. It's what else though. I could do this shit until I'm 112. Fuck it again. I'm out here by the fuck up the beat and fuck up myself. No. Put the cup down, I'm really trying to spit it now Really trying to get it down Really try to let them know that this is really what it is in town Fuck this shit Hold up, let me take the sip uh, uh. I took a sip of that shit, that shit got a hit What's that called, that charm soju? You already know the shit that I told you And I could come through and I could go scold you About the shit you doing but that shit don't make sense I could spit my own shit, I don't need it. Uh. Hold up I said that shit was smooth before but it hit me in the throat though This is for all of the rappers that don't know This is really how you supposed to go On the mic, on the fucking freestyle flow shit We can go, uh, I can't do it bro I don't know. Soju. Soju. I'm just trying to see what the fuck the soul do. Not what the fuck he told you. Yeah. Don't make me fucking scold you on Whoa. these bars. Yeah, I be that cold dude if I need to be. Huh. I can fold you like church chairs. Yeah, or oh, I burn the whole entire industry down with a snap of a finger. Yeah, like a nasty smell, y'all niggas linger in my fucking brain. Shit is absurd, hella insane. Yeah, I cannot contain the passion that's in the brain that make me and hold me up the foundation. Yeah, blame all y'all motherfuckers for the uh, condition of the generation that I'm seeing that should be incinerated. Fate is to end up in a fucking hole six feet deep. Cause y'all niggas ain't nothing deep All surface, it's all burning It's all hurting in my soul uh, I'm straight surfing On this motherfucking flow Y'all learning nothing cause y'all ain't listening To shit that fucking hurt just to be told What you already know, shit is old And it don't stop Did you restart that? Yeah <laughs> You wanna get on it again? Fuck it, I mean I can switch it. I can switch it to something else. I wanna spit on it, spit on it. I wanna spit on it. I'm mad that I couldn't like shit. think. It's all good, we warming weird. up. We're warming up. Warming up. Warming the fuck up. It's a good beat, yo. Shout out to you. This yeah. this song, I'm I'm actually hyped about this song. Like yeah. when I drop this shit, that's I think that's another reason why I can't really like try to rap ah. on it, because I'm not trying to hit the same flow. True, it's true, a true. real specific flow on this. Yo, no, how the fuck I get down this shit ain't alive. Oops. It's you, it's you. This is also 3 a.m. There's another beat by him. Benjamin, sorry to give the government. But fuck it, man, I'm up in this bitch When I spit it, everybody know I'm with it If you didn't think I did it, then you probably should go quit it Cause the shit that you've been listening to is really shit that I've been into And if you didn't think that I'ma do it, man, I've been influenced Everybody, all around me, everybody on my body Fuck around, well, nah, y'all don't wanna do the shit that I've been doing Cause the shit is kinda stupid, I said that shit kinda useless I think Yo, it's lad, hey, yo, it's lad You did, what the fuck I thought you would Yo, cause you niggas so predictable Okay, matter of fact, stretch that despicable Me, not ever, you already know I endeavor To touch the sky and slam dunk on your motherfucking head Said I picked the world up and I drop it on your head Lil Weezy said that, but this shit I do it easy I ain't do it in these bars, you can never see me No John Cena, you already know F you, throw you on the fucking flow you know how I do Oh uh, yeah, never wear fucking shoes That my feet been in Cause y'all would be defeated in two seconds Just living in my mind Yo, that shit will feel, feel out confined uh, Says make you feel all confined Yo, my bad can't physically keep up Or I'm at metaphysically You already know you're never hitting me Ain't never touching me I'm teleporting You ain't fucking with me 
ain't on no level, on no time, in no plane, nigga dimes, 10 out of 10 every time I spin a rhyme, okay I take your whole click and line, I'm up shoot one time snipe, I go through all your mind like a fucking telekinetic beast, you already know you're never ever telling me shit about the way that I'm living, the way that I get it, cause when I die, only nigga that gon' be buried is me, and you can't see what I see, and y'all can't breathe how I breathe, cause I'm too original, I'm way too sick, yeah it's pivotal, that y'all niggas do the same with your life and your style, but y'all don't, y'all don't get it, y'all tryna bite like motherfucking dentures, and I don't understand y'all, don't fucking hit me on the mentors, cause I'm motherfucking crucify anybody who want it, uh, and any smoke, yeah you got it, trust it, I'm a motherfucking fireman, uh, uh, give it up, how you plan, yo, yo, ain't even me, ain't even me, stepping in the footprints, you will see, G-O-D, O-D, flow every time I speak, ho, yeah, you can leave me, uh, to be hoes, next fucking prodigy if I need to be, but nah, I'm on my own level, man. Yo, I'm trying to surpass Y'all niggas is all in the past Yo, in my perspective uh, Let me wreck it Nah, I already did that So I'ma let this fall in JR's hands from now on The left is what right it But now it's off the head So what we talking about? Talking about how we gonna start it off again Start it off again Start it off again Hey, start it off again <laughs> I'm just waiting for the beat to start Start it off again, start it off again With some shit I've been told to you I ain't your friend, ain't shit that I could owe to you Doing big things, but it seems so little Man, you flow little, you go little, you're so simple I don't know if I should ever go with you Like, I ain't gonna go perform with you Trying to do a show with you What the fuck you want, get you woke Get you out of my box now Let them know I don't even look at the clock now My time now On some shit that y'all ain't never rhyme about I'm about different things Y'all can never time out me Nah, I be in the shit That's the game though Everybody know everybody else Spit the same though With the same flow I could go off of the brain though Let them know I came for the game though Everybody know this is shit that I do If you didn't know Then you shit on my shoe Whoa, scrape them off Wipe them Let them know that anybody rap and I don't like them Probably wanna fight them Probably wanna take them Out of the game then I'm in the spaceship I go to space bitch I'm out on Mars now Let them know that All I ever do is Lay these bars down Whoa You can never fuck with me You can never try to get up In this bitch and fuck with these Bars that I'm spitting now This ain't even nothing hard This is easy now Easy now Easy now Gotta ease them down Like I'm Never mind, I was about to say some such shit, but fuck this. I'm doing this shit by the bus this like pumpkins on the day before Halloween. You know that I am mean, it's a horror movie. I bust a cap in your brain like it was Call of Duty. You never did this shit to me, y'all but offer to me. What you offer to me? Probably nothing. I could do this shit for nothing. I could do this shit for money. I could do this shit for nothing once again. I could do this shit for free. Cause this shit is really in me. In me and indeed I've been the motherfucker they wishing they could be. Could see, could get wit in the session, in the cipher. I let them know, I decipher all your bars in, put them down, play the piper. Let them know that this is nothing really. I'm just getting hyper off the alcohol. I could spit some bars and I could go ahead and rap for all of y'all. And if y'all wasn't with it, then y'all dumb in it. Y'all done spitting? Okay, I'm running with it, running with it like it's a relay. Let them know that every time I spit, y'all replay. Everything I do, everything, it's like three days, but I did it in one hour y'all ain't on me wait well no the level different and y'all ain't spitting the shit i'm with it and well hold up i get it again and now he chopping up his hands so i'ma chop it up again and i'ma let him know the flow is really different now here we be doing shit that y'all ain't never been in out here whoa hold up the beat is over i can start it up again though or i could go to the next though Next one. Next one. I can really flex what a thousand times on it. You already know, fly on it. Like, whoa, yo, don't get splat. Every single time that I spit, you should attack. My defense is offense. No offense to you niggas, y'all the softest. You ain't cross it. My path anytime soon. Not often, not seldom. So hot, yo, bars melt them. And I feel free. I already know everybody who's real will feel me. My bad. Next beat. Uh.
That's all good. I was just scribbling. Uh, on to the next one. Hey, on to the next one. I'm not your best friend. No. <laughs> you can't come to my house no more. Get out of here. You didn't bring any food. Yo. You ain't invited to the cookout. I was finna split my motherfucking lunchables with them, but he don't get a piece no more. Yo, that ham and that cheese and that cracker be mine. Yo, hey. that shit is more than a snack, sir. That shit was my lunch, yeah, for sure. You already know that right now I'm the number one rapper in the game. No Tupac Shakur. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the real shit is the type that lure anybody who love the allure of realness. Okay, your highness. Yo, so that's why all these bitches kneeling. I wasn't understanding at first why these niggas couldn't stand it. But you know I don't swing that way, god damn it. What the fuck you talking about? I hit you with the back hand quick and then just start laughing. Cause I'm maniacal, I'm evil Every single time I do it Yo, I'm the haystack Nah, y'all the needle What that mean though? That mean that they all trying to copy Yo, that's flattery Attacking me A big mistake, a casualty You not even try it Yo, that's like the perfect recipe Of fucking dying Oh yeah Ah, uh, color the game So many different shades Yo, it's like I'm dying it Yo, y'all already know no, I'm just spitting off the dome I'ma just let it flow, let it go Kinda like, yo, yeah That flick of the wrist, that curry be Just, uh, baking buckets with Okay, yeah, fuck it then Ah, I, I don't give a shit I ain't thinking about it one time One line, leave the lips Next one, come out by coincidence Y'all just hating and just feeling it Either way, kinda like Y'all be talking shit but not in your head Anyway, every day, every way, let me play with your mind. My bad, these beats are short. Nah, it's all good. You got it. I got another one. It's fucking you. It's me, it's me, oh wait, though. Think I got some beats to play, though. Mold it up like play, though. This shit that day, you know. I don't like tomatoes. Hey, <laughs> but tomatoes. I ain't trying to throw no shade, bro. If I said it was my favorite, well, it ain't those. I'm capping, yo. I put that shit on everything. That shit is delicious. That's that shit you couldn't get with. It's that tomato flow. You know I'm made to go. Mm. Whoa. Trying to find another one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I got another one. Oh, that tomato flow. Tornado, though. <laughs> tornado, though. <laughs> the way they spin in my record. You bitch keep blowing me like tornadoes, bro. Ooh, you about to go crazy. Yeah. 3 a.m. once again. All four of these beats. 3 a.m. I got it. I bet. Whoa. My bad, I was hitting the vape, but I gotta spit it and save like I'm gripping the cape, like I'm Superman and I'm flying over Metropolis. I let them know I'm on this shit and ain't nobody got this shit. I could spit on any kind of beat and I'm the top in this top dog. But no Kendrick, no Schoolboy, no Absol, no J Rock. And let them know J Rock when I get it up on that beat and they can't say stop. Nah, cause I'ma kill that shit And I'ma go obliterate him I'm getting Hold up Hold up You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. I was going a little stupid Going dumb up on the beat But that's just really how it come to me I could do the shit and make it look like it was fun to me This shit is really how all these rappers be up under me They be looking up, I be cooking up What the fuck, let them know that this is really how I go and get it Every time I go and spit it, man, you know the shit exquisite Every time I went and did it, they wish that they went and ripped it Like a Beyblade, I let them know I came way 
what that mean when I say I came, a? I I say I came up on your bitch's ugly ass face, <laughs> wait, what the fuck am I even trying to say now, I let them know I lay down, I go to sleep and wake up, these bars up in my face, uh, it's like I caked up, like I was at the bank, bruh, like wait, what, why the beat over, nah, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. About to get it again? Yeah, I'm about to get it again. Let's be short. About to run it back. Run it back like they gave your boy the handoff. Whoa, damn, I was off. That's kind of that that type of shit that get me damn soft. Like your bitch when she trying to go and take them pants off. I said, nah, bitch, back up. You ain't the one with that clam. Oh, nah, what am I saying now? Hold up, let me lay it down. Got the beat, I played it now. They already know this ain't the time to come and play around. I can freestyle up on the mic and they know I'm aiming now. I said, I'm aiming now. At anybody in the game, I'm praying now. Like a zombie apocalypse. I let them know that I'm on this shit. Anybody that be talking. Talking all that shit about your lips I'm about to cut off your lips I'm about to let them know that I do this shit I'm preposterous The way I get up on this shit The way I spit this shit It's like when you all up in the water Got a hippopotamus You about to get run over now I'm about to go and let them know this shit is over now Over down Over down where? I don't even know Don't think the sound cares Because I'm going off And this shit sound rare to your ears And every time you listen It's all of my peers getting everything that they deserve now Let them know All I gotta do is spit these words out Adjectives, nouns I can spit a couple verbs now Linguist, Is that a word? I don't know But fuck it, I be singing shit I don't even do that That's the yet They let them know that every time we do this shit We gonna get played on any kind of radio station a playlist we about to make a whole new a-list they couldn't never get with is this be over again my bad here you can have it get it get it get it get it get it yo what's your profanity autobiographical Real shit I had motherfuckers who I thought were brothers fucking ducking me. I had bitches that better than Rihanna fucking sucking me. I don't need your company. You already know that fake shit ain't got no luck with me. Half of y'all never in the life could ever fuck with me. Back when I first started writing shit. Yo, and now I'm on the fucking height of this mountain that I meditate on. Cause y'all niggas can't never. Ever, ever get to the top and I just levitate on to the top of Shit is crazy, I just manifested And yeah, uh, feel like I'm arrested Yeah, cause I can't be myself around y'all Y'all niggas feel hella uncomfortable, but I'm just kidding When I ever gave a single solitary fuck about that I couldn't stop, man, the real shit I spout that out My lips like waterfalls and all go off Kinda like a motherfucking bomb strapped to your chest And you believe in something higher uh, That is really lower than human and savage You already know ain't nothing about you that can savage Your whole clique, not nah, all your shit Yo, this shit is sadness to me And I'm just doing this shit for the passion, you see Okay, it's passionately done every single time I put the pen to the pad Shit is hella fat, hella glad Whatever you can think of in the moment, whatever you feel, okay? Right now, you ain't in my field like it's away games. Uh, you already know you stay sane by listening to the rap once again, man, that I spit out my lip. Oh, uh, fuck. These are short, my bad. <laughs> Shout out 3 a.m., though. What's going on? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 FBI, open up! Oh I shit! I, just, I think I just have that one. What the fuck? You had everything. No, God! Oh, they're all there. They're all there. Never. Yeah, mind. I was gonna say. No, I, I gave God, you everything. Please, you no, no, no! Fuck it though, man. No! Fuck it though. <laughs> I forget how long that one is. Every single time. <laughs> Fuck it though, fuck it though, fuck it though. What's that's it? good, man. Yeah, nah, shit was lit, man. I mean, we just went for two hours straight. That's cool. Got straight into the bullshit. Oh, that's cool. Straight into the bullshit. No waste of no time. Talking, that's... but we talking about a little bit of everything. Yeah, I just gave him a movie real quick. Two hours of sand. Yeah, two hours. Yeah, y'all sat down. Y'all listened. Y'all loved it. Get ready for the next one. I'm on fucking pizza time now. Pizza fucking... time. Nah, I think my girl made tacos. I'm about to eat some tacos. Hey, you lit, you lit. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> I'm out of there. I wish good. there was a version that 
Nah, don't worry about Correlated. it. Correlated. Nah, it's all good, bro. Don't worry about it. All good, all good, all good. But um, yeah, so that was Jungle Juice. Is that the real episode 10? Is that what this is? We're going to delete episode 2 and this is going to be a real 10? Okay. All right. That sounds like it's about right to me, dude, because I ain't even going to try to hit nothing. That was the perfect one right there. Boom. So this is episode 10. Um, Uno diez. We popped some champagne. We drank some tequila. We, we drank pop some the champagne. No, nah, we, we broke some tried. champagne. We broke the cork. Had to fucking take the rotted ass cork out, only to pour out some dirty piss, homeless Paul's man ass. piss. Paul's Sh- ass. That shit is dirty homeless man piss champagne. Yo, that shit was bubbled dark. In. That's. Oh yeah, that's the other part. I didn't even think about the bubbling aspect. Nothing. There was no bubbling to it. No, no. She was an asshole. Not at all. Don't want it. Shout out to Siete's grandfather though for supplying the bottle. That was I mean, dope. He tried. He, that was he, dope. He, I he appreciate him for the, yeah. He probably just had that shit. It's the thought that for counts. Dummy long. Mm-hmm. And uh, just yeah. didn't store it properly. That's all. I don't know where that shit came from. For certain ways, you got to keep like she wine and champagne nasty. to keep them good or whatever. Fucking gross. It's all good, though. It's all good. We brought it back with the Terramana and with the Soju. I had my little cacti over here. Yes, sir. Cacti, bro. Cacti, bro. It's fucking cacti. <laughs> it's fucking made with agave. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> but that's going to do it for episode 10 of episode Jungle Juice. 10, episode nice. real number 10. I mean, it's technically the 11th, nice. but this is episode 10, fucking dude. 10. Episode 10, dude. 10 episodes straight up on your heads. What's up? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. It's fucking here? 10 episodes. I think we're out of here, bro. Fuck yeah, dude. Fucking pissed, dude. 